Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I have not filmed a sit down video in so long and this feels very strange. I'm sitting at my desk right now and it feels like we are in a formal meeting. I promise you are not in trouble. Today I'm actually going to be filming a video that I'm super excited for because I really think that this will be helpful for a lot of you out there. There have been instances in the past where I've been teased by my friends, all in good fun, but they have teased me for being a little too organized. And while I don't think anyone can ever be too organized, I thought that it would maybe be a good video idea to share with you guys my organization tips because apparently I'm very organized. So today I'm going to be revealing my secrets, sharing with you guys all of my best organization tips for how I keep myself organized using both my planner and my MacBook Pro. And if you're new here and you're wondering why you should trust this girl that you've never met before, I'm in the second semester of my third year of university so I have a lot of experience with hectic finals week and midterms week and just having a lot of projects and assignments and and I have so far managed to survive all of it by staying organized. So let's just get into the tips. And by the way, if you're not ready, you should definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. I promise I do. Go test me on that. I'm going to start with giving my tips for planner organization because if you guys have never watched any of my college vlogs before, I love using my planner. It helps me stay so organized. So before we even get into what you should do once you have a planner, tip number one is to go out and buy a planner, but not just any planner. Go out and buy yourself a beautiful planner, something that will make you so happy and give you so much more incentive to use it. I love getting planners that have like a beautiful design. This one in particular is from Anthropology and I got my planner from Anthropology last year as well. It's kind of like a watercolor theme and then as you can see it has 2020 and 2021 in gold down here and it goes from August 2020 to December of 2021. So yeah, perfect little size to carry around with me if I were going to in-person classes and it is so pretty so I love using it. So that is my first tip is to get something that you will want to use. So you have your planner, it's the first day of school, you get all of these syllabus documents from your teachers. The next tip is to write everything down. That means assignments, tests, exams, quizzes, homework. I feel I am most organized if I write every single thing down because then I don't have to worry about continuously going to check the course page and like trying to figure out if I have weekly homework because I know that I put everything in my planner. On that first day of school, you wanna do the work for yourself so that the rest of the semester you can like be reassured that you have everything Everything written down and then also you guys would know this if you watched any of my college vlogs but the reason I love my planner so much is because I love the feeling of when I have done a task I get to check it off so the more assignments and homework and tests that you write in your planner the more things you get to check off and it is so satisfying this next tip kind of goes along with the last tip because I'm still talking about like writing everything down but something that I do that helps me stay organized and also helps motivate me to do my work is that if I have let's say three lectures to watch in one week I will write down lectures and then I'll write a little one, a two, and a three so that I know that I don't just have lectures to watch. I specifically have three lectures. And then let's say one day you were to only watch one lecture. If you just wrote lectures, you can't really check it off because you haven't watched all three. But if you write the little one, two, three, you can check off the one. And then if the next day you watch a second lecture, you can check off the two. And it like motivates you to keep on watching those lectures, keep on doing your work because even if you haven't completed the whole task, you've completed a step so you still get to reward yourself with that little check. My next tip is to also write down if you have any meetings with teachers or any Zoom classes, write those down in your planner. Again, you get to check it off when it's done, but then it also helps you keep track of your day. So if you just forget that you have a class at one in the afternoon on Thursday, it will be written there so that you know what your schedule is. I feel like in high school, it's a little easier to know your schedule because you just have classes from like eight to three. But if you're in university or college and your classes are kind of scattered, then I would recommend writing them down. My next tip to stay organized is mainly for online school because if you're in regular school, then you're probably gonna like hand in your assignments in person. But if you're submitting it to a portal, then I recommend writing down the exact time that your assignment is due. Most teachers will have their assignments due at like 11.59, like midnight. And so if it's midnight, I don't write it down because that's just the standard. But some teachers will trick you. And I recommend like on that first day, going through your syllabus, make sure that you're aware of when your teachers expect your assignments to be handed in because most of my teachers are at midnight, but some teachers will have it due at 2.30 in the afternoon or one teacher really tried to trick us. It was due at 11.59 a.m. 
one of the main ways that you can achieve organization for school is being organized in the rest of your life as well so while i have this beautiful planner mainly for my schoolwork, i do still write all of my other tasks that i have to do every single week so i write when i have to work out i write when i have to film a video i write when i have to upload a video i get to check it off once i do it but that also helps me organize my week because if i see that i have to film a video on friday then maybe i want to get my assignment done on thursday so that i'm not like struggling to do both I definitely think it will be easier for you to stay organized in your academic life if you are organized in your personal life as well because then everything is organized and you don't have to stress. My next tip is actually something that I've only started doing this semester because I never felt the need to do it any other semester. But what I've started doing is writing a little preview of my week in like the top corner of my page because all my pages are like weekly spreads. So in the top corner, I write down a little overview of all the work that I have due that week so that as I'm flipping through all the pages, I can kind of like pre-visualize which of my weeks are really hard weeks, really busy weeks, which weeks I don't really have much due. So in the top corner, I will write down how many assignments I have due that week and how many discussion forms I have due that week and it just makes it really easy as I'm just like flipping through instead of like counting how many assignments I have due I already did the work and I wrote it in the top corner as I mentioned before my planner is a weekly planner which means that when you open up the pages it shows you Monday to Sunday so that really works for me because all I do is write down when my tasks are due I don't really like time block my day but if you find that helpful time blocking is basically writing 8 to 9 wake up and have breakfast 9 to 10 work on this assignment 10 to 12 do this assignment that's basically time blocking so for that I would recommend getting a day by day planner now my very last tip for planner organization is actually not something that I do. I think it's very helpful though, so I still want to mention it. This is something that my friend does, but what she does is color coordinate in her planner. So she writes down all of her deadlines just like me. She has a weekly spread, and let's say she has five classes, she assigns a color to every single class. For example, blue, green, pink, yellow, and orange. And then she gets out her highlighter, and after she writes down all of her due dates, she highlights each one in the corresponding color for that class. So this is just another helpful way to kind of like prepare yourself and visualize what is going to be due when and like for which class if that helps you out so those were all of my tips for planner organization and now I'm going to move on to laptop organization. So my main tip for organizing your schoolwork on your computer is to have some sort of system and I have a folder system. So first step, you need to make one folder that is just called school or since I go to Queens University, mine is called Queens and you just put that folder on your desktop and that is your school folder. Then what I do is in that school folder, I make individual folders for every single year. So I have one for first year, second second year and third year and then next year I'm going to make one for fourth year so that you have all of your schoolwork from all of your years in one place and I've also found it very helpful to go back to my old assignments because especially for my program I'm in film and media a lot of my media classes sometimes overlap and so this year my third year I found myself going back to my second year assignments and like finding certain terms that I used and incorporating them into my current assignments so it's very helpful to have everything in one place so then you have all your folders for all your different years and I recommend in those folders making folders for every single class that you will take so in my third year folder I have three rows of folders I have one for my summer term and I only took one class in the summer so there's only one folder there and then my second row is my first semester classes and then my third row is my second semester classes and then with those folders I organize them like not alphabetically but like numerically I guess so I start with like the smallest number and then I go till the biggest number so that is kind of like my folder system for keeping track of all my assignments because I know everything is in the school folder and then I know that something for my second year is in the second year folder and then I also don't have to scroll through every single assignment that I've had in second year because it is itself organized by every single class that I took. Now the next thing that I do that's part of my like folder system is at the beginning of every single week or like whenever it's convenient, I will make like a blank Word document for the assignments that I have due that week. So let's say I have a writing assignment, I will open up a Word document, put in the title, so like writing assignment number two, and then I will just save it to my desktop. First of all, my desktop has nothing on it except for my school folder so that like when I put an assignment there, it's very noticeable. So also another tip, keep your desktop organized. It'll really clear your mind 
mind if you don't have a million screenshots and assignments everywhere. So anyways, I will have that little assignment on my desktop. So it is always there reminding me every time I go on my computer, even if I go on my computer to watch YouTube or Netflix, I know that I have an assignment due this week because the Word document is right there staring at me. So then I work on the assignment during the week and it's helpful to have it outside just on my desktop so that I don't have to go into the school folder and then the third year folder and then the writing class folder. I don't put my assignments into the folders until they're done. That is another thing, kind of like checking it off in my planner that's like satisfying is that especially if it's a week where I have like five assignments and I have five Word documents there since the rest of my desktop is clean, it's like annoying to have like that clutter on the side of my desktop. So once I finish every single assignment and I submit it, it's done. I don't have to look at it anymore. I get to move the assignment into its folder, into its resting place. And then once I complete all of my assignments, I have a clean desktop again. So that's kind of like my incentive. My next tip kind of goes along with that. So when it's the beginning of the week and I make those blank Word documents, I will also do the formatting right away because at least for me, all of my teachers require MLA formatting. And then I save it and I put it on my desktop and I find that that really helps me because sometimes you kind of forget that there are certain things you have to do in order to submit the assignment. Like professors sometimes have certain expectations. And for me, all of my professors expect that it will be in the MLA format. So I find that if I'm making these documents, at the beginning of the week, I might as well do the work and make sure it's formatted right. My next tip is something that I don't always do because it kind of depends on the assignment instructions, but I do find this very helpful when I do do it. So what I do is when I'm starting an assignment, I will like pull it up and I'll make it like half of my screen and then I'll pull up Safari and I'll go to the assignment instructions and I'll make that half of my screen and I'll read through all the instructions and I will write like in point form everything that I have to do. And since I put them in point form, what I do while I'm writing my assignment is let's say one of the requirements is to have three scholarly sources. So that's on like a bullet point. And then once I've written enough of the assignment and I have three scholarly sources, I delete that bullet point. So it's like gone because I already completed that guideline. So I'm remembering all of the instructions that my professor gave me. And I'm also keeping track of what I've done and what I have yet to do. Now we have made it to my very last tip and this is not exactly an organization tip but this kind of goes along with buying yourself a beautiful planner that you love to look at and that you love to use. I recommend having a really nice laptop background whether you make it yourself or you find it on Google or Pinterest. Have a nice background there so that when you open your laptop even if you're going on to do school and it's not the best thing in the world you have a background that you just like looking at. I used Canva to make my collage. It was super easy. It's free and you just find your pictures from Google or Pinterest and you put them all in, you make yourself a little pretty collage, you save it and then you can put it as your background. Since for a lot of us, our laptop is now our workspace, I just recommend making it as pretty and beautiful and happy as possible. And those are all of my organization tips. That is everything that I do to keep myself organized, whether I'm in online school or regular school. I really hope that this was helpful for some of you. And if it kind of stressed you out, like don't worry, you don't have to do everything to be organized. You don't have to do all of this to like get good grades. So this is everything that I do to keep myself organized. And it makes me feel good to be organized. So if you enjoyed this video and you found any of my tips helpful, I would really love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. And if you're not already I would love for you to subscribe because I do a ton of college vlogs so you get to see all of these tips in action in my vlogs. I hope you are having an amazing morning or afternoon or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!